Hi friends, in this video, we will learn a cool trick of how to find out square root of three digit number, four digit number, and if you really go good, I'll also teach you how to find out the square root of a five digit number just in two seconds, guys. All right, so in the starting, we need to spend a little bit of a time to understand the process, and then you guys are going to be super fast. So let us say, believe, uh, you do know the square from one to nine. So like one square is one, two square is four. Yeah, three square is nine, four square is 16, five square is 25, six square is 36, seven square is 49, eight square is 64, nine square is 81. Now, as you can see here, guys, the last digit of your squares, I put on a different color here. Yeah, I'm not very good at color, but I believe it looks like a pink, I believe. <laughs> if I'm wrong, you can just correct me. Yeah, uh, that's my last digit. So let us say, we'll be starting with a small, like a three digit number. And once we understand the method, then four digit. And then after going for a while with the four digit, we can also try the end five digit as well. All right, so three steps we got to be doing in this, like to get the square root. My number one step is looking at the last digit, guys, six. So what square has got a six at the end? So I can like a four square is 16. So as you can see here, I got a six here. And what other number has got a six? So I got a six here as well as you can see. Yeah, I got a six here, I got a six here. So that is my four or that is my six. So I can have my last digit as a four or six. We'll decide that later, but my last digit is going to be four or six because this number decides my last digit. I also want to tell you one thing. Let's say if you figure out one thing like, okay, four. Four squared is 16. So if this is a four, then second thing must be like 10 minus four. So if you do 10 minus four, that's a six. Yeah? So that's how you can get your two numbers as well. All right. Now, once you do that, then you can just take your two numbers off so you are left with five. Now you can think about different square, like one square is one, two square is four, three square is nine, but nine is bigger than five, yeah? So I can't go with three because three square is nine, nine is bigger than five. So I'll, I'll just uh, end up with two square equal to four. So two square is four. So it can be 24 or 26 guys, how cool. Yeah, so let us say this number decides my first number of the two digits number. So it can be 24 or 26. Now, the last step. Is it really 24 or 26? How do we decide is? So my first digit is two. And then I'm going to take my next number, guys, next digit. So after two, I do have three. And I'm going to multiply them. Two, three, are six. The two, three, are six. And look at my first number here. My first number here is five. Five is smaller than six. Because five is smaller than six, I will consider my smaller number as an answer. So 24 is my answer, guys. If that number is bigger than six, then I'll consider the bigger number as my answer. How oh, good. So three steps here. Yeah? In the starting, you feel like, oh, there's a bit of a process, but you do a couple of questions, you'll see like, oh, two seconds is more than enough to work out the answer. So let's do here. So let us say this is my last digit, which is four. What square is four? Oh, two square is four. So it can be two. Once I get my one number, I gave you the trick, guys. You can do 10 minus two, which is eight. So it can be eight as well, because eight squared, 64. So that has got four at the end as well. So it can be two or eight last digit. Now I can just tick off like this, last two digit and I'll be focusing in this 33. So what square will have, you know, like a number less than 33. So I can do like four square is 16, five square is 25, six square is 36. 36 is bigger, so I can't do six square. So five square is 25 is good. So it can be five here and five here. So it can be 52 or 58. Now we're going to just decide which one is correct. For that, we'll take the five, and we'll take the next number, which is six, five, six, uh, 30. So this is 30, but my answer here is 33. So 33 is bigger than 30. Because my 33 is bigger, I'll consider bigger number as my answer. So the square root of 3364 is 58, guys. Is it not cool, yeah? 
Now I believe you are getting a little bit of hair. Yeah, yeah, clay with the thing so you can go faster. In the next number here, my last digit is nine. So it can be like three squares, it can be three. Or when, once you get the first number, you I, I told you the trick is, yeah, you can do 10 minus three, which is seven, because seven square is also 49, having nine at the end. So it can be three or seven. Now the two digits are gone. The first two digits are 18. To get the 18, I can do like four square is a 16. Five square, 25 is too big, yeah? So four square, so it can be 43 or 47. And now to get the exact one, I can take that four and the next number is five, multiply them, which is 20 or my 20. Now 18 here is a smaller than 20. So my smaller number is my answer which is 43. Yeah, now you, you can you can give it a go guys. Square root of one, four, four, four. What is the first step you will take? Yeah, last digit here. So it can be two square, isn't it? Once is it a two, my second number will be 10 minus two, which is eight. How cool? And then I'll be just taking this off and first two numbers are 14. So 14 is like three square is nine, four square is 16, but 16 is bigger. So I'll go with three, so 32 or 38. And then after my, this number is three, next number is four, multiply them, which is going to be 12. And my number here, 14, is bigger than 12. So I'll consider the bigger answer, guys. Is it cool, guys? Yeah? We'll do a few questions, guys, here. So let's say if it is 82, 81. So we know like one. So that is going to be one at the end. Or else it can be 10 minus one, which is nine. Now, considering this uh, 82. So 82, we know like a nine square is 81. 10 square is bigger, yeah? So 9 square is 81. So it can be 91 or 99. And then we can do like 9 times 10, which is going to be 90. Uh -uh. But the number 82 is smaller than 90. So I'll consider my smaller answer, which is 91, guys. Yeah? And this is going to be a cool, cool question, guys. Because here, this is going to be like even more simpler when there's a 5 at the end. So if it is a 5, then we can see like 5 square is 25. So five at the end, yeah? So when there's a five at the end, we do get five here as well. And the other number, like we always get a two numbers here, but when there's a five, we won't get the two numbers because 10 minus five is five. So my other number is also five. So I don't need to worry about two answers. Only one answer, I'll get it when there is a five at the end. Now, looking at this 20. So what square is a number less than 20? So we can see like four square is 16. And five square is 25. 25 is bigger, I can't consider. So four square is 20. So that's going to be four. Now I don't need to worry about it because there's only one number, guys. So 45 is my answer. Is it cool, isn't it? Now let us see if you're really excited about this technique, guys. I'm also going to teach you how to get the square root of five digit number. And that's going to be really, really cool, isn't it? But to do that, you're going to know like a few extra squares like 11 square, 12 square, 13 square, 14 square, 15 square, and 16 square. I put on the answers for you here. So if you know it, great, guys. If you don't know it, you can just prepare it. If you really want to go up to finding out the square root of a five-digit number or even bigger. Yeah. So let us say, again, the process is going to be very similar. So let us say here my six. Six is my number. So what square can be six? So four square. Yeah, is 16, so 4. My last digit can be 4, and 10 minus 4, which is 6, so same process. And then I'm going to just ignore this first last two digit number, and I'll be focusing on 129. Now, what square will be less than 129? So if you look at the things here, what we provided, 11 square is 121, 12 square is 144, but 144 is bigger, so I'll go with 11. So that can be 11 here or 11 here. So my two possible answers is 114 or 116. Let's see which one is correct. So I can do like 11 here and my next number is 12. So can you see? Same process, only bigger numbers. So if it is 12 times 11, I know like 12 times 10 is 120. And then 12 times 1 is 12. So 120 plus 12. 120 plus 10 is 130 and plus to 132. So that is going to be 132. Now my answer here like is 129. 
129 is smaller than 132. So I'll choose my smaller answer, which is 114. So square root of 12996, guys, is 114. Is it not cool? Yeah. Let, let, let's do the next question, guys. If it is a 9 here, then say 3 squared is 9. And my another one can be 10 minus 3, which is 7, guys. Then I can just ignore last two. And 151. So you can see the things here. 151, I can just, you know, like go with 144, which is 12 squared because 169 is bigger. So it can be like 123 or 127. Now, to choose which one is the right, it's 12. The next number is 13. A little, little bit of a process, guys. But let's say if you do like 13 times 10, is going to be 130. So 13 times 10 is 130 plus 13 times 2 is going to be 26. If you add them up, it's going to be 156, isn't it? So this is 156. My number here is 151, a bit smaller than 156. So I will just tick off with a smaller answer, which is 123. Cool, yeah? Still learning, guys, how to find out the square root of five digit number very, very quickly. Let us say if there's six at the end, it can be 4 or 10 minus 4, which is 6. I'm going quicker because I believe you're getting, getting the hang of this, yeah? I am now 158. So look at these numbers here. 158, again, I got to just go with 144 because 169 is still bigger. So it can be 124 or 126. And to check that, I can do like 12 times 13. 12 times 13, guys, we already did it before. So I can take it directly from here, which is 156. This time 158 is bigger than 156. So I can just choose 126 as my square root answer. One last one, guys. But this is really, really big. Get a go with me, guys. Let's see if you can really do it. And if you get it, like, definitely you should be proud of yourself because you learned, like, really, really big things and quite significant. So let us say my last digit is 4. So 2 squared is 4. 10 minus 2, which is 8. So 2 or 8 can be my last number. And this 3 is 249. Now, if I look at this, guys, uh, I can go up to 225, I believe, because 256 is bigger, yeah? So it can be 15. So 15 squared. So 15 here, 15 here. So it can be 152 or 158. But to check that, I got to do 15 times 16. To do that, guys, I'll do like 16 times 10. So 16 times 10 is 160. And 16 times 5 is half of them, which is 80. And if you add them, that's going to be 240. So this is 240, and this one is 249. If 249 is bigger than 240, I'll choose my bigger answer, guys, which is 158. How do you feel, guys? Quite good, isn't it? Yeah, you, you, you can just, just do that with your friends and family and even with the teacher and impress them. Yeah, have a wonderful day. If you like it, subscribe to the channel to learn a lot of tricks and maths like these guys. All right, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.